can open this. Oh, we do get a cable. That's nice. USB-C cable. And then here are some instructions. Giveaway, lightning adapter. Probably because my hands are greasy. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to break this wire. It's very hard to take it out. And for a quick comparison, this is the size comparable to just a regular credit card. And it's almost as big as it. So it's pretty compact. So a couple things I wanted to say is to turn it on, you just press this button here. Press it once and you can see that these two lights are showing. And there's four dots. Two right now shows that it's half full. And when you plug it in and you start charging it, you can actually charge it from this port and this port. This one is bright bi-directional. So power can come out and can come inside. And this one is only one way, it's uh, power in. The instructions do say that these two cards are 2.4 amps max, which is actually pretty fast. So we'll test with the Samsung and see how fast the lightning cable, or sorry, the um, USB-C cable actually is when I do a quick charge comparison. And uh, yeah, to turn this off, you just hit double tap it quickly. Should turn it off, but the lights are still on, so I'm not sure how that works. Maybe it turns off after a couple of minutes. I do notice that the lights go off. This is 10,000 milliamp. And one cool thing is that you can have pass-through technology, so all the ports, you can charge this and have this plugged into your phone, and it'll charge this device, and it'll charge, it'll charge the battery pack, and it'll charge your own devices that are plugged in. So that's a really cool feature if you're on the go and you want to travel in and you want to charge all your devices all together. So this is great for my uh, GoPro, because this uses USB-C, and I want to charge this in between uh, shots on when I'm on my trip, so I'm going to be using this a lot when I'm traveling for this device and phones, obviously. This should give you about two and a half charges for a regular like Samsung 9 phone or something like that. Okay, let's try. Let's use this official Samsung cable and see if this can support fast charging. Okay. Still, it's still doing regular charging, so I don't think it matters what cable you use. Hey, regardless, this cable, which is the inbuilt cable, is showing the same amount of charging time as the official Samsung cable plugged into the output using this, this which is supposed to support fast charging as well, and the cable that it comes with. It just doesn't support it, fast charging. Okay, now let's test the pass-through technology. What we're gonna do is we're gonna charge this while we charge this phone as well. So grab this, comes out really easily, plug it in here. Okay, so this, it's charging, it'll take about 56 minutes, so no, no difference in time. This is charging too, and it's plugged into here. 